Let's go! Hey everyone, I have a huge drugstore haul and I saved a bunch of things up this time. A lot of times I do mini hauls, but this time I saved up a bunch of things to show you all at once. And I went to Ulta twice and Rite Aid twice. So I'll just start with my Ulta haul. And the first time I went to Ulta, they were having 40% off NYX and Revlon. And then they always have their $3.50 off $10 purchase. So I think I used that coupon as well. So they also had Revlon and a couple other brands for 40% off, but I only went to NYX. Um, basically, I picked up four blushes. I picked up Peach. And the funny thing about Peach, this is actually a repurchase. It's kind of like a backup for the Peach that I already have. But the when I picked it up and compared, they look very different to Here me. Here are the two NYX blushes in Peach side by side, same number, 06. Um, this is the existing one that I have, and this is the brand new one. If some of you happen to see the little sticker on the side and, say, and think, oh, those stickers are not the same. Well, this little sticker I put on myself just to tell me what day I opened this blush. So yeah, they look a little bit different there. So, here's my current peach, and here's the one I just bought. Do those look like the same colors? Definitely not. Um, I didn't like this originally and I gave it bad marks when I originally reviewed it on Makeup Alley, but then, I don't know, like user error again? Uh, it grew on me. I actually really like it and that's why I purchased a backup, but the backup looks totally different. Um, I guess I'll find out if they look the same on the cheeks. I kind of doubt it since they look so different in the pan, but we shall see. The other NYX blushes that I picked up were Cinnamon, and this one is a very orangey red blush. Uh, maybe I'll do close-ups of these. Um, and then I got Pinched. Pinched looks like a shimmery shade. This kind of reminds me of Pearlescent Pink. I should have grabbed Pearlescent Pink to do a comparison. And then I also grabbed Mauve. I own a couple of NYX blushes. As I said earlier, I didn't really like them when I first got them because I thought they were too powdery and I and pigmented as well. And at the time, I didn't know how to work pigmented blushes and I just used to like apply a whole bunch on my cheeks and then look really clowny. But now that I figured out what brush to use and sort of to use a light hand, then I figured out how to use the NYX blushes. I also always use Urban Decay setting spray and that helps my blush last all day. So if I look a little bit tired, it's just because I came home from work and I quickly decided, oh, let me do a video before I go to the gym. So yeah, that's why I might look tired. Um, I also picked up this, it looks like a, they call it the Ultra Pearl Mania, it looks like a pigment and it's just black. So I've never owned a NYX pigment before. Uh, and then I picked up a retractable eyeliner and a silky cashmere. And for all that stuff, it was about $11. Very, very cheap. For like four blushes, a lip liner, and a pigment. Yeah, I thought that was good. I'll stick that over there. Um, the things that you see back here are things that I have already opened. Uh, my unopened products are in another drawer that I have. And please excuse me, the phone is ringing. Here and here are my opened makeup. I have another drawer of unopened makeup. As you can imagine, I keep doing hauls where I get sales and stuff, so I do have a lot of unopened makeup as well. I know, I, I like to collect makeup. It's, it's my hobby. I get all excited. What I like to do sometimes is when I'm watching YouTube, I get influenced by, you know, things that other people like and then I kind of put it in my mental list of, oh, I want to get that someday, whether it be a certain product or a certain color. And then I keep my eyes open all the time for different stores and when a sale is going on, I will pick up a couple items that are on my mental list. Anyway, getting off that tangent. Um, the next two items I picked up were the Real Techniques. I have a lot of Real Techniques brushes and I happen to really like these 
blending eye brushes or what would you call them? They're officially called the shading brush. Uh, some people think they are very small. Um, let me go get mine as an example. A lot of people do not like this brush because they say it's too small for my for their eyelids but I happen to think that it's perfect for my tiny little eyelids so I use this to pack on color for the corners of my eyes and then I'll use a different brush like the MAC 217 to blend it out but this is good for packing so I picked up two backups just because I always have to wash this one and sometimes I just don't have time to wash it so I like to wash my eye brushes between every use just because I don't like different colors mixing with the look that I intend to have. I don't know if that makes any sense, but whatever. And then the last thing that I got from Ulta was this Jumbo Lip Pencil thing. It was basically on clearance for 99 cents, originally 8 bucks, and it is in the color Raisin. I might go ahead and swatch it for you all. It had decent reviews on Makeup Alley, so I thought, why not? Here is the Ulta Tinted Lip Balm in Raisin, and I will swatch that for you on my wrist right there. Oh, very sheer. Well, looks like a very pretty, my lips but better color. In fact, it reminds me a lot of a Revlon lip butter except a lot more sheer so I went and grabbed it really quick it's actually the one that I was wearing in this video it is the Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the color Honey so let's take a look and see how close those are okay this one's a little bit more pinky um, this one's a little bit more sheer but I only paid a buck for this one um, this one has kind of a fruity scent to it, whereas this one has a slight minty scent to it. And this one truly does leave a balm stain. I don't know about the Ulta one yet because I haven't tried it out, but that's where we stand. Next product I picked up was full price, but I saw my friend wearing it, my friend Lan. She's a makeup artist. And I was like, what is that blush? Your face looks so beautiful and glowy. And she told me it was the Milani Luminoso. So uh, my husband actually picked this up for me uh, from Walmart. It was like $6.97 full price. Can't wait to try that out. One of the reasons I try to get my hauls done is because I try really hard not to use my products while they've been hauled. Next items, I put them all in one bag, but these were from separate trips to Rite Aid. So Wet n Wild is having a 40% off right now. And I kind of went a little crazy, but it's wet and wild, so, you know, it doesn't really break the wallet. But uh, the first two items I picked up is Reserve Your Cabana. And I picked this up because uh, somebody I watch here on YouTube said that this was like a dupe for ambient light or something. Something. I can't even remember what the dupe is. She said it was a dupe for something that people use as a glowy highlighter, and I actually have it on today. I only put it right here on my cheekbones and then at the bridge of my nose. Um, I actually wore this on Monday as well, and when I got into work, like my coworker was like, wow, you look really fresh today. Did you do something different? And really the only thing that I changed was this highlighter. So, I mean, to me, this is a total hit right now. There is tons of products product in it. I think I only got it for $2.60 or something. Um, this will probably last me forever, especially since the way I use it, I barely tap my brush on it and then I run it across wherever I want to highlight. Um, it doesn't really seem to have a shade, which I like as well. It's just like a little bit of shimmer. I mean, I know if you're trying to stay away from shimmer or shininess, then you probably would want to stay away from this. But if you look at my face, that, if you see a little bit more sparkle right about there, that is, this is basically what gave it to me. So, used a very light hand on it, didn't like dust this all over my face. Uh, this, I heard, was supposed to be a really good bronzer. And I love blush, bronzer, whatever. I, no, I just love all makeup, so why not? I've been really liking Wet n Wild products, and I thought, you know, why not give it a try? Especially pearlescent pink is my, one of my favorite blushes. Here's the Reserve Your Cabana, and here's the Ticket to Brazil. And these may look like really huge products, like if you compare them to the Physician's Formula side by side, but when I took a look at them, 
The number, the amount of product in here is 0.46 ounces, and in the Happy Booster bronzer, it's actually 0.4 ounces. So it's not really that humongous, even though the packaging does appear to be very large. Picked up the Blue Had Me at Hello palette. This was the one like eight pan palette that I had missing from my collection. Um, I just decided to pick it up because I've liked almost every other Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette, so I thought, how could I go wrong? Plus, the reviews for this on Makeup Alley are pretty good. Uh, the next thing I got was another pencil sharpener, just a backup pencil sharpener. And I got a whole bunch of brow pencils. I got four brow pencils. These get used up really quickly because they're a very soft formula. So even though it looks like a super long pencil, it gets used up in like a month. And then I decided to pick up a different color, and this is bronzed. I thought this might be okay for my under eye lining if I don't want something so harsh like a black. So picked those up, and then I picked up two lipsticks. Two of them were on clearance. Uh, these are the Copper Dust and Hot Paris Pink. I actually picked up a third, but that one was not on clearance. Um, it is Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. Wait, didn't I buy this one last time? I might already have this one, actually. I think I bought this and I hauled this in my first drugstore haul ever. And I just realized when I said the name, like, what? Okay. Oops. Oops. Oh, well, it was the only, like, 60 cents after the 40% off sale. And then the last thing I got was another nail polish, which I semi-swatched on my thumb. You can kind of see it. And this is Through the Grapevine. I think this reminds me a lot of one of the OPI polishes that I picked up. I'm going to go ahead and grab it to compare and see how close they really Here are. The Wet n Wild the Mega Last Heard It Through the Grapevine reminds me a lot of my OPI No Spain No Gain polish. Um, it's a slightly lighter purple shade, I would have to say. I mean, you can see the comparison for yourself. So, I'm gonna go and find my close-up shots of everything and try to get this video up as soon as possible. Uh, the Wet n Wild sale is going on through Saturday, I believe, at Rite Aid. So that's April, what's today, the 24th, 25th, 26th. The Rite Aid sale, at least in Southern California should be going on until April 27th. So 40% off went wild at Rite Aid, at least in San Diego. So thanks all for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.